on the spot media present you're on the spot dot com Andy Bruce Ripley on the spot media presents to you you're on the spot dot com are viewing the 12th annual tattoo fest right here at the double tree Tampa Bay yeah, we brought more artists in from around the world this year China Japan Belgium Rome, Italy oh we've had well, a Rome is Italy isn't it? well yeah something like that <laughs> But you know what? It's really cool because we bring in the finest and the best artists. These people got to be certified, body piercing, everything going on here. And you know the fine people at Sailor, Sailor Jerry Rum cooking it up here and sponsoring us. People at Sion. Well, art is sexy, I think. So you know, that's probably it. Yeah, I mean, it's it's kind of sexy that people are bold enough to permanently put you know something that means something to them on their body. And they're into their art enough to, you know, you know, when I'm 90 years old and my skin is all saggy and wrinkly, I'm still going to have the tattoos. They're not going to look as hot, but they're still going to be there and they're still going to mean something to me. And I think people with balls to do that, you know, are, that's, that's sexy. It's confidence, I guess. Yeah, the confidence. Definitely. Hey, this is Coley Dawn here at the Tattoo Convention in Tampa, and I'm with youronthespot.com. Which one's your favorite tattoo out of all your fat tattoos? Do you have a favorite? Again, it's probably the last one that I got, man. You know, which was the one on my neck. It's my machine. It makes me my money. It is what I do for a living, so probably that one. But again, it's usually the, like, the latest one that I got, which is my favorite. Yeah. These artists are the best of the best. You know, when you can get people in here and get nice tats put on them, the, 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 the reason people get these, they mean something. And a lot of our tats um, are sentimental. We get a lot of portraits of children, uh, people who have passed. Particular, they would have sex with their mate, they'd paint their man and send them off to war. It's pretty fucking hot. He gets laid and painted. It's like it's like role play. So in a sense, like you get tattooed, it's like you're getting you're preparing yourself for battle. At the same time, you're that warrior, and a woman's gonna find that warrior who's big, strong. I, I guess it's attractive in that sense. I, know, I guess I could come up with millions of other terms, but it's all I can think about the moment slightly inebriated. Gotcha, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> Who won't you tattoo? <laughs> People that stink, like literally body odor. Fucking smell your shit, man. Forget it. I'll be like, get the fuck away. Especially have this nasty ass chick come in. Hey, tattoo my foot. Sits down, bam, nasty ass from under cheese in those toads. I was like, I'm like, first of all, if you're gonna get tattooed, or even if you're gonna go to the hospital, you know better to at least shower or wash yourself beforehand. Word of advice. Otherwise, we'll make it more painful if you force us to tattoo your dirty ass. She gets dermals like every time they heal. She's got them going all the way across her neck, and it's really hard to do because her skin's so thin and kind of you know droopy. But I mean, hey, they they're it's, it's addictive. I mean, we have How older old women come in. She's probably in her 80s. She's very old. She tried uh, pierced her nose and it fell out one night, and she has you know like a really big pore on her face. So she was trying to stick it into the pore that was like up here oh, no. instead of into the hole that I put here. So I was like, okay, you, you've got to be pretty, you know. <laughs> Down the road, I was like, put on your glasses because you were trying to poke it into your like face. <laughs>
reconstruction after breast surgery. Oh, really? Wow. Women get mastectomies. Mastectomies, cancer clients. We replace them with tattoos. So we do eyebrows, eyeliner, lash enhancement, guy liner, lip liner, lips, eyeliner? beauty marks. Yes. I just did her eyeliner. Take a look. Oh, wow. My face is permanent. There are eight the tattoos here. Right. And that's really the big thing about Even like the shading? Eyebrows, you, you eyeliner, that, lips, and, and lip liner. Right. So wake up with makeup. But sometimes when you come down here, you can catch them for an appointment down here, write a tattoo fest, and get it done, and they come to you. And if you ever do any research on tattooing, it's very in-depth, and the artists are legendary in the tattooing world. We bring them here. Lyle Tuttle's here. Crazy Philadelphia Eddie. Uh, Sailor Jerry Rum, you're, you're, you're thinking booze, but Sailor Jerry was one of the original tattoo artists. He had his own art. Do you like guys with tattoos better than guys with, not, with no tattoos? It doesn't matter. No? As long as you don't care about my tattoos, I got a lot of tattoos. <laughs> okay. You got tattoos all over? All over. Nice. I only got my ears pierced and my belly button pierced. Everybody got their belly button pierced. Belly button is like ears now. Yeah, yeah like you get it when you're born kind of thing. Check it out on the spot.com. I'm Mike the Freak. Reach me at BrainSoupTattoo at live.com. Check it out. And I'm um, traveling artists. We know what to do. Touch your fist. We're with On The Spot Media. This is Chaos Inc. or Chaos Tattoos and Piercings. This is Jamie, Tiffany, and Margaret. And we're here at the Tattoo Expo in Tampa. Mwah! Sorry, what area hurt the most to get tattooed? You guys have them around? Right yeah, inside the arm. There. Inside the arm to work? <laughs> yeah. So, you know, this is when we bring this together, people come to see these legends, even just to get their autographs on them, because this is a walking canvas of artwork. And a lot of these people that walk around with the tattoos doesn't mean that this doesn't work. People with long hair doesn't mean this don't work. <laughs> it's just their creativity. We've had this tattoo fest now for 12 years. We're getting ready to hit lucky number 13. It's getting ready to smack it. But you know, when you put uh, 242 artists in this facility in Doubletree Hotel on Cypress and West Shore, it does a great job. But you know, when you bring in 10,000 people through this door and they're coming in getting new ink, we've seen more new virgins in the last two years than I've ever seen, mostly women. So you know, ladies and gentlemen, when you're viewing all this, check out the fine work, look at the fine line. And the one thing that Bruce Ripley and I always look for is the best of the best artists, artists here. We don't bring no hacks in here. You don't need sandpaper artwork, ain't that right? Uh, so, well, last year, Heather Miranda was her first tattoo. Yeah. Set, it was her first tattoo fest, or first tattoo convention ever. ever. And now there's five awards sitting on her desk this year. That's she, won, it. she cleaned up last year, she's cleaned up this year, and she wasn't known last year. So that's something else that happens oh, at yeah. a tattoo convention. I go out and search the new portfolios to bring you the new talent. Well, I hope you're enjoying this uh, documentary of our show. We'd like to have you a part of it. Remember, you can go to TattooFest.com and get yourself scheduled in for the 13th annual Tattoo no, Fest. It's not just the 13th, it's the lucky 13th. Thir lucky 13th. And uh, come and see us. If you want to be a vendor, you want to be an artist, you're just seeing it for the first time, check it out. Hey, I'm Radical. This is Bruce. Tattoo See Fest. you next year. Bruce, Tattoo <laughs> Fest. <laughs> 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 <laughs>